Oh man, bros, I'm so sorry I didn't vlog last week. Last week, I was absolutely dying again. It's so bad. And then uh, this weekend, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get some great footage. Went out to Bristol, did a ghost walk, did a pirate walk, I mean, and then just did awesome stuff. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna film it all. Did I have my memory card? No. <laughs> so I'm sorry for that, I screwed up. And I even screwed up again this morning because I had my girlfriend's credit cards and ID on me which I forgot to give back to her after the weekend, so now I need to drive back to hers, do a bit of shopping for... Yeah, I got to do that today, so I'm going to vlog today and make it up for you guys, all right? I haven't done a vlog in a while, so, right. I've got the serious, serious problem. I've got twat tan, all right? There you go, you can see it better, see that, guys? That is the definition of twat tan. So, I've got to look like a twat for ages, even though I already do. <laughs> And I gotta be in public with this visible, alright? This is the only shirt, the rest of me is sticky. I've got Betty Swallocks. Work was horrible. It's just so hot. Like, obviously, you guys from America or Australia, wherever hot country you're watching this from, like, yeah, it's fine. It's only like 30 degrees. But in the UK, we can't cope with this shit. We literally die. But anyway, I need to stop talking. We need to go to Bristol. We need to go shopping, pick up some cool stuff, and then eat and just do some cool shit, man. Right, I'll see you guys when we're at Bristol. Literally, like, getting out of your car that has air con into this atmosphere, it's like getting off a plane in Dubai. And I haven't been to Dubai, but I can imagine it's the same sort of feeling. Just, what the fuck? like I'm wilting. Yeah, I'm here at Bell's house now. Time to dump off my stuff. Let's go to Bristol. Relax, we're in the little for the people. Well, this says it's a massage roller, but it's not. It's just full pain. Like, you use that, you cry. It's a lie. To the bar, Oh, I didn't even unlock my car, so obviously I didn't lock it. <laughs> Ready? I'll give you a helping hand. Or you just you sass it. Just walk away. That's the sound. Right, we are back from Morrison's and Little Shopping. We've got some gains. I've got some kangaroo steaks, and I've got some pilaf rice, and i got a little bit of mango chutney to make the rice taste a lot better. Oh my god, Sam! How Sam? It's just Bell's cat. Right, I've got 60 grams of protein in these steaks. I might have one tonight, one tomorrow for work. I haven't decided yet, but I'll probably, yeah, I do. Yeah, so I'll have 30 grams worth of kangaroo steak tonight, and I'll have 30 grams for my lunch tomorrow at work. Sweet, right, let's try and cook this without setting the house on fire. This is very easily done with me. Microwave or rice is a lifesaver on time, guys. It's the best thing ever, and to taste a little bit better, Add a little bit of mango chutney or any sauce you want with your rice just to give it a bit more moisture and just taste lush. So I'm gonna add that to my rice with my kangaroo steaks and it's done. And a little pinch of salt, which turned out to be a massive dollop. <laughs> right, these kangaroo steaks do smell a bit funny. But let's try it out, let's try it out. Uh, uh, curry. I really chewy. And I dropped a little bit. Doesn't taste too bad actually. Probably put a bit too much salt on that one. <laughs> but yeah, tastes pretty good. Right, this is 60 grams of protein in this. I'm gonna demolish this, then we watch Spider Man 2, which will be sick. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Spider Man is on. Getting all snug for the night. I'm gonna finish watching this, and tomorrow's a new day, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's hot. What you're about to see is a oh, wind. Oh my god, right, I'm obviously back from work, I'm dressed, I'm ready to go to the gym, it's a chest sesh, it's gonna be a good day. 
but I'm sweating my balls off. It's like 33 degrees. So if you're from the States, like Texas, or just anywhere in the States, any whole country, you say, 33, that's nothing. Well, to English people in the UK, that's hot as shit, that's how it is. So hopefully the aircon isn't making a lot of wind noise in this. I need to get a pump on. I need to get ready. I'm still trying to get tanned. I got serious twat tan. I need to sort out before I go to Spain. And yeah, but right now, let's head to the gym, get a chest session, and get big and bad. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a bit. It's fucking hot. So that was a good sesh. I'm sorry if I've gone from like epic angles to like no angles because like Chris was with me halfway through the session and was filming but then had to leave quite suddenly. So that was annoying. Bad on Chris, give him shit for me. But right now I need to head home and feed me with protein. I'm gonna make an epic protein shake for you guys who haven't seen it. You're gonna love it. Try it for yourself, it tastes amazing. Right, I'm gonna finish this. I'm gonna have a very cold shower because I'm about to pass the fuck out. Mm. Right, guys, I'm out of the shower. I feel a lot better. I'm still sweating my tits off though. It's, oh my god, I got Leonardo arches. Sign me up for the Titanic. Free, whatever. Jesus. <laughs> but yes, guys, you've probably figured out from Instagram and my, well, my videos lately that I haven't been doing like summer shredding. But I've fully now decided that I'm no longer gonna be cutting, I'm just gonna be concentrating on getting as much protein a day as possible. When I say much protein, my target is 180 grams of protein a day, because I'm roughly 180 pounds at the moment. So, that's a target of protein. I'm not really gonna worry about carbs, I'm not gonna worry about fats. Purely, what I'm gonna do is just train my ass off and make sure I take my protein intake. What I've learned over the past year of this channel and me training and learning is that when I did my bulk last year, I did a lot of mistakes. Number one, I didn't train everything twice a week. I didn't find out push-pull legs until maybe six, seven months into the year. That's the big one. That is most important. So if you learn anything from this video, guys, train muscle groups at least two times a week for maximum growth, all right? Number two, my diet was shit. I used to just not consume enough protein to help repair my body. Like, your body is a machine. It it needs feeding. It's like if you have a car that's got a big engine and you rack the shit out of it, it's going to drain fast, right? You're training hard, you're going to drain fast, all your nutrients and all this stuff. And you don't put nothing in it, you're going to crash, which is another thing. So, you need to get, make sure you get your proteins in. Obviously your fruits and your fibers and your carbs and all that stuff is very important too like with your veg But for me my big one was not enough protein in a day. So I gotta train everything twice a week number two I'm not swearing at you. <laughs> I'm not swearing at you. number two uh, Make sure I get enough protein in a day Number three, which is another big one for me abs abs was a big one when I found out when I tried to do my cut I didn't train abs anywhere near as much as what I should do I only trained abs when I started to cut, which is bad because obviously when you build muscles, I think people treat abs as like a different muscle together, but it's not. It's just a regular muscle like a bicep or a pec or a lat. It's the same thing. So when I'm building muscle everywhere else, I still need to train abs. I still need to build my ab abdominal muscles up. Not only is it good for my core, that means it's good for compound movements like my squats and my overhead press, my deadlifts. It all helps when you have a strong core, right? So when I cut down, the less body fat I need to see abs. So 
This is the big thing why I thought, are abs actually worth it? Which will make the sense for the title of this video. Are abs worth losing so much strength, so much body fat, going through hell, feeling like shit, getting ill a lot, which is what I did, which is why I couldn't vlog last weekend, because I felt like absolute rat shit. And I asked myself a question, is this actually worth it? Is going through all this worth an extra 2% body fat? For me it wasn't, because I, you need, a lot of people do it, it's like they all start skinny and then they see like Steve Cook and they're like, oh, he's so straight, he's got abs, but he's already got a shitload of muscle mass underneath that fat, fat when he bulks, right? So when he cuts down 3%, he looks like a shredded six pack, but he still feels good because he's still at a high percentage, right? He's still roughly like 12, 13, 14% body fat, but you can still see a six pack because he has that muscle development underneath. He did train abs when he was bulking and for many years. So for me to look like that, I need to have more ab abdominal development muscle wise to even get the same results even slightly. So if I wanted to get abs like a proper six pack, I would pro probably lose like all my chest muscles. I'd feel like shit, I'd lift, I'm lifting so much lighter than what I used to. I know this all comes with cutting down and shredding. You do lose strength, you do lose muscle mass. But to me, how I would look after that summer shredding wasn't worth going through that and losing everything else just to get an extra 2% body fat off my weight. Which is fine by me because I hit my targets of summer shredding. I want to lose a stone, I lost a stone. I wanted to get down to 175, I got down to 175. So I hit all my targets. I was like, right, I've hit my targets. I'm really happy with what I look like. Do I need to go the extra step and lose everything else? Is that worth it for me? Just to get more ab definition. For me, it wasn't. So now I'm bulking. I know what to do now. I'm going to train twice a week properly with good form now I know how to train properly hence my 60 second gains videos i want to help you lift properly train right with the right intensity and structure i'm going to eat properly because i now know about nutrition because i didn't know anything about nutrition before and i'm going to train abs which i never trained unless i was cutting and then i was disappointed because i could never see abs because i never developed them in the first place so that's number f i've lost man I don't know who I am, three or four. I forgot. I can't count. <laughs> I can't fucking count. All right? So those are the big rules for me of what I've learned massively, what the mistakes I've made over my last bulk last year. So obviously next summer, when I cut again, I'll look a million times better because I have all this knowledge that I'm going to share with you guys and then we're going to go on this crazy fitness journey together where we can all grow quick, not quickly, but the right way together. That makes sense. This is this making sense? Because I'm really hot and I'm sweating my ass off right now. So I'm hoping this all makes sense. But those are the biggest mistakes I've made from last year's bulk. And now I know what to do. I'm going to put that knowledge that I've gained into you guys. And then we can like bust out some massive arms. And it'll all make sense. And you won't get so frustrated like I did, right? So I've had to sacrifice a year of my life to learn what I need to learn. And now I can all focus it into one point. And then, psh, boom, gains are made. Everyone is happy, right? So that's what, that's my plan. And also exciting news, guys. I went to a new gym and it is fucking amazing. Like, it's gonna change my channel so much. I'm just praying that the owner lets me film. Like, I'm gonna beg and plead that he lets me film because you guys will love it there. It's such an old school. It's like back in the 60s, Gold's Gym, Arm Schwarzenegger vibes. It's such a bodybuilder's beast gym. And the only cardio it's got there is one treadmill and one cross trainer. That is it. That is the only cardio they have there. The rest is just epic weights. And it's all exciting, it's all new, and I can't wait to teach you guys how to use all this new equipment and just oh, make massive gains. That is the plan for this channel. I wanna teach, I wanna learn myself, and then make you guys learn from me trying to, trying to find a way to make it make sense to you guys with nutrition and training and all that sort of sexy stuff. So I'm gonna end it here. I'm gonna edit this video I'm talking to you about now. I'm gonna sweat my tits off and I'm gonna pass out bollock naked in my bed while I can't sleep. And I'm gonna wake up every half an hour going, oh, fuck it's hot, <laughs> all right? So guys, I'll see you in the next one. I love you all, I'm out.